Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Quant whose current price stands at the 110.8 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 2.46% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out basing my analysis on the ADO2 structures, the Fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances and I want to kickstart my video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the Quant chart. From the outer high we had been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective movement which took us back to around the 41.2 dollar mark and after seeing that low we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side in a movement that has been obeying the ADO12 structures and jumping to the 4 hour chart for further analysis here on the 4 hour chart you can see have this ADO12 structure in blue which is a fractal wave to the upper side having a wave 5 taking us back to around the 229 dollar mark and completing the formation of that higher ADO12 count 1 to the upper side and having seen the formation of that higher ADO12 count 1 to the upper side whatever we expect next is a movement to the lower side in the formation of this higher ADO12 count 2 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this higher ADO12 count 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that which perfectly lies between the 135 and the 112.5 dollar mark which is a target area that we have fully maximized and having lost the FIB level 0.618 I now need to extend my target area back to the FIB level 0.78 which perfectly lies at around the 80.4 dollar mark and from what we have here on the quant chart there are chances that we might have made the low for this higher ADO12 count 2 and right now we are seeing that reversal to the upper side in a movement that I'm terming as a higher ADO12 count 3 and because the higher ADO12 count 3 is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that higher ADO12 count 3 to the upper side and jumping to the 1 hour chart so that we can see this better here on the 1 hour chart you can see that after making a low at around the 94.7 dollar mark we have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side in a movement that has been obeying the ADO12 structures having that as the wave one then we retraced over here in the formation of a over wave two over here then after seeing the formation of this wave two whatever we expect next is a movement to the upper side in the formation of a wave 3 and using the trend based Fibonacci we can first sketch out a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 151.5 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I will expect that wave 3 to the upper side before we see a wave 4 and then continue pushing higher in a wave 5 to complete that higher edge to have count 1 to the upper side then removing the uh, the trend based Fibonacci so that I can get to this wave 3 to the upper side which is an impulsive wave and because of its impulsive nature we also expect to see fractal waves within that wave 3 to the upper side and I believe we are seeing such a structure right here having that as the wave 1 then a wave 2 a wave 3 and then a wave 5 which has completed the formation of that higher edge to have count 1 to the upper side right here so that is a wave 1 to the upper side and whatever we expect after seeing the formation of this higher ADO12 count 1 is a movement to the lower side in the formation of a higher ADO12 count 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of that first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of a wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that which perfectly lies between the 108.2 dollar mark and the 106.3 dollar mark and that gives me the short term scenarios that can play out here on the quantum chart. There are chances that we're in the formation of this ADO12 count 2 right here. And I have sketched out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this high ADO12 count 2 within this yellow target area right here. And that gives me the short term scenarios that can, can play out here on the quant chart. There are chances that we might continue retracing, get into this uh, yellow target area before we see that reversal to the upper side in the formation of a uh, wave 3 to the upper side. And because a wave 2 is a corrective wave, 
wave we also expect to see an abc corrective structure which we are seeing right here having that as the wave a then a wave b then i'm expecting us to continue pushing low in the formation of our wave c to fully maximize uh, this yellow target area that i have right here and using the trend based fibonacci we can also sketch out another target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave c by connecting the fibonacci's from the high of that wave a to the low of the wave a then dragging the fibs to the high of that wave b and that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 107.3 dollar mark which perfectly lies within this yellow target area that i have right here on the charts and that would mean uh, lower prices are coming our way here on the quant chart get us into this yellow target area then expect a reversal to the upper side in the formation of our wave 3 also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the rsi on the rsi we are trading at around the 41 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the lower side also taking a look at the macd on the macd we have printed a bearish cross and that means lower prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated